hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a favorites videos and this is both May and June. So I have some skincare favorites and some makeup favorites. It should have been more makeup favorites but something happened in the makeup world and yeah. So I want to start with my skincare and if you don't want to ski the skincare you can just hop into this time. But it's not so many... I think this is going to be a short video. So, okay, <laughs> stop with the talking and just get into the thing, please. So I got four skincare fav favorites and I really, really, really like all of these. So we can start with the one I love the most. I am like... <sighs> so a little backstory, I really don't... I love skincare, but I don't love to pay like crazy amount for skincare. And in December... Kix, the big beauty store here in Sweden, they have like an advent calendar where they have special prices on different items every day and have like this, yeah, special prices on different things the whole way through December. And one of those things was this one. This is a cell repair night oil. I bought this in December, was saving for it because this is like the most expensive serum I have ever tried. It is from Aurelia Probiotic Skincare. And if you know me, <laughs> I am not into this like herb thing or like plants can heal you. I think that is total crap. If you are sick, you are sick. But this one this is freaking amazing. I am so blown away by this. It's like the best thing I have ever tried. And I am so angry that it's so expensive. It costs like two times the thing, the, the two times the price that I want to buy skincare for. But I think I'm going to buy this when I'm all out of serum. Um, yeah, the only thing I don't like is the smell of it. It smells very herby, but this is... This is amazing. It sinks onto the skin so fast. I got such an amazing glow after using this. And when it was the time of the month, I didn't get any breakouts. I always get it. But since I start to use this, I don't. And like the best thing I have ever tried. Okay, maybe I should speed this up. Then I also have a new face mask. And this is the replenishing sleeping mask from Kix. Love this, it sunks in and I feel so moist and like bouncy in my skin. It is a good thing in the morning. Really really like this. This is so so good so I can really recommend you to buy this if you have uh, any Kix nearby. And I have also found a new eye cream that I really like and this is from Lumiene. It's their Nordic Ageless Eye Cream. I had the Banana Bright from Ole Henriksen. It's, it's too expensive for me what I want to spend on eye cream. Then I bought this and I love this more than the Ole Henriksen. This doesn't have the brightening effect but it's amazing. I really really love this. I think this will be the only eye cream I ever will buy because it is amazing. And the last skincare product is I can really recommend for all of you that love liquid lipsticks but hate when your lips get crusty. I started to use this when I was sick and this has saved my lips. This is the UA Overnight Conditioning and Repairing Lip Mask. In the flavor vanilla, I didn't know it was different flavors but when I got this I was like oh vanilla doesn't matter. This is a night mask for your lips. So you put on a thick layer when you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning your lips are all moist and so good. So my lips hasn't cracked a single time when I had my cold, which they usually do because you sleep with your mouth open and your lips are like Sahara. This saved my lips. I love it and it's also vegan. Okay, and uh, that was all my skincare products. It feels like I'm rushing this video, I don't know why. Uh, so yeah, it's 
some skin, it's some makeup products. So we can just start with an old favorite of mine, and that is Infinite Palette by Linda Hallberg. And I have started to use this one, Cigar, for my eyebrows. And I think that this is a really good shade for me to have for my eyebrows. So I have used this every day. Uh, and I also have this as favorite because I have used like these two shades for blush. Like the whole of June, I think. Almost the whole of June. I really, really love them. I have this Andromeda today. I usually use this pinwheel, but they are amazing. And also, I have used this so much. I think it's because I take this up and fix my eyebrows. And then I'm going to do my blush and highlight. And I'm like, I'm already holding this. So I use them on my face as well. Love this. This is so good. And then another super favorite. I bought Colourpop's cream gel liner bundle new. They reformulated them, I think, or some of them. Some new colors, new packaging, and I bought the whole bundle. So I'm talking about the yellow cream gel liners, of course. These are some of my favorite shades. I have used this a lot. It's crossed and this one, Sulu, but all like these bright neon colors. I love them so much. I think they are so good. This is really like, if you want something popping on your waterline, this is amazing. I don't think though you are supposed to use this on your eyes, but everybody do. <laughs> so I have really, 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 really love them. And these are some of my favorite colors. I love them all, but these are some of my favorites. And then I have some palettes. And I think some of them you, I guess you know which one they are. Um, and I have to stop, t stop talking about them. But it is, of course, the Kaleidos Makeup Futurism, Futurism Collection. I love these palettes. These are some of the best palettes I have tried this year. I have talked so much about them. I love them. These are some of the absolute palettes, best palettes I have ever tried. Not only this year. This my whole makeup life. And I have loved these in May and June. And the last favorite is the Ace Boutte Flare palette. Sometimes I just like open this and look at it and admire the palette and like This is a really good palette. I haven't played with this much But I don't have to. I just want to like look at it and just like So this is also a favorite And that was all my favorites. So it wasn't that much makeup favorites. I sh would have talked about two more things, but I don't support Wet n Wild anymore and I don't want to talk about them. They still, this situation with selling in China makes me so angry still. So I don't have any favorite lipstick this month, this two months. But I have loved red. I am thinking about if I should take my like favorite red when I do my favorite videos because red is my favorite lipstick color. Or is that strange? Because I have really liked Rosewood this mo two months from Anastasia. Um, and it's kind of red. So yeah, maybe this, uh, that would be a favorite. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm just going to stop talk now. Stop recording, stop talk and uh, yeah. Just say I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!